So, this week, it's Europa League. Yay, Europa League. Brilliant, fantastic. Cheers for that, Arson. Thanks, mate. Then again, it beats getting spanked every time we play Bayern Munich and Barcelona, doesn't it? So, something different. Different teams, different trips away, different countries, different setups, different manager styles, etc., etc. And we might see a few of our youth team players, like Willock and Nelson, two young prospects from the youth team so yeah I, i'm really looking forward to this game is arsene wenger though that's the question is arsene wenger going to take this competition seriously i don't think he will i honestly don't think he will he's proved that year after year after year all he gives a toss about is top four so i can't see that changing this year as much as i'd love him to man united proved last season if you take it take it seriously and you field your best team you can actually win this. And this may just be the best route for us back into the Champions League. What with Tottenham, Man City, Chelsea and Man United. All with decent squads. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Now what do we know about FC Cologne? Well, we know Podolski used to play for them. We know they're German. And I know that they've lost all three of their league games this season. I've gone through their squad list. And I can't recognise a single name on the list. So, yeah, my knowledge of FC Cologne isn't great. But like I said, they've lost all three of their league games this season. And they've shipped seven goals in the process. Um, only scoring two as well. Their next game is on Sunday. And they've got Bayern, uh, sorry, Borussia Dortmund, not Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund away from home. So, I can't see as they're going to come here with a full strength 11 to try and go toe to toe with us even if we play a reserve team. Because, like I said, they're, at free, they're in free fall. They've lost three out of three. They really need to start picking up some points in the league. Obviously, we've got Chelsea on Sunday. We know what happens when we play Chelsea away. Nailed on loss. So, with that in mind, this is my 1-11. to I'm going with David Dospina in goal. Decent backup. Not the best keeper in the world, but should do a job there. Don't need Peter Cech in this game. Now, I've seen a lot of talk on social media in the last week or so about playing Reese Nelson at right wing back. Nah, not for me. Reese Nelson is not going to chip in and score goals or create goals from right wing back, in my opinion. Yes, he can bomb up and down that right wing, but is he any good defensively? Because everything I've seen of this kid, he's fantastic going forward. So why waste him and play him at right wing back? The only right wing backs we really have, or right backs that we have at the club, are Hector Bellerin and Matthew Debucci. And as much as I don't rate either of them, Debucci is worse than Bellerin. So that's why I'm putting Debucci in the starting 11. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe I have picked Debucci in the starting 11. Um, left wing back. This guy, in my opinion, goes under the radar a lot. Um, I think he's a 7 out of 10 most weeks. I think he's solid. He just does the job. Nothing flash, nothing fancy. So I'm putting Nacho Monreal at left wing back. Um, my back three, the club captain's going to start. Yay! Per Mertesacker makes an appearance. Um, we know what we're going to get with him. He's a snail. He's slow. But in my opinion, he is the best defender we have at the club in terms of reading the game. Um, and alongside him, we're going to have two young lads. I'm going to put Callum Chambers one side and Rob Holden the other. Um, Callum Chambers played a pre-season game in the Emirates Cup and looked absolutely fantastic and hasn't been seen since. Um, ideal game to put him back in and especially alongside Per Mertesacker. With Rob Holden, obviously the back end of last season, he was fantastic and everyone was getting all carried away with him. And then he came cr crashing back down to earth in the first game of the season against Leicester. Um, so yeah, hopefully his confidence can, can be boosted by playing this game and having a clean sheet. My midfield pairing, another one that goes under the radar in my opinion is Mohamed El Nenny. Yes, because he doesn't pass 50 yard diagonal balls to, to feet and because he doesn't do anything flash, he doesn't get as much praise as, as he should. 
Um, he does the dirty work, which is what we need. He nicks the ball back and passes to someone better. Um, so I'm going with Mohamed El Nenny. Alongside him, Jack Wilshere. I don't think we should put anyone Xhaka type uh, or, or anybody of that mould. We don't need to waste Xhaka. And Xhaka's been pony this season so far. Um, but Xhaka is going to start against Chelsea. So there's no point risking him in this game. He could pick up an injury. Um, and I think Chelsea's a little, little bit too quick for Jack Wilshere. So now we move on to the two behind the striker. Um, I am going with Alexi Sanchez. I don't think that he has had enough game time to start against Chelsea if he didn't play this game, if that makes any sense to you guys whatsoever. If he doesn't play on Thursday, I can't see him starting on, on Sunday. So I would give him a run out. I thought he was absolutely fantastic when he came on at the weekend. Yes, we were 3-0 up, but his control, his passing, his vision, he's just a joy to watch. I absolutely love watching Alexis Sanchez. He's just fucking amazing. I love the guy. So, yeah, he starts, and alongside him, just off of the striker as well, this is where I'm putting Reese Nelson. Um, this kid, if he keeps his head down, and gets his opportunities and takes them, which I think he will when he gets in the team, this kid could go all the way. He is absolutely fantastic. I've actually seen him in the Emirates Cup. I, I watched him live. Um, the way he just walks past people, it's just ridiculous. Um, his crossing's on point. He finds a player 99 times out of 100. He scores goals, like we see against Man United the other day. He scored an absolute screamer of a free kick. And... He's going to be full of confidence. He's scored loads of goals recently. I think he's scored five goals this season already. So, so yeah, they're my two behind the striker. And my striker is Olivier Giroud. Um, I don't think Giroud's going to start against Chelsea. But this is an ideal game for Olivier Giroud to bang a few goals, get his confidence up to as high as it can go. And then if needed, which it probably will be against Chelsea, then we can throw him on and maybe he'll nick an equaliser or something. So, yeah, that's my 1-11. to let me know what you guys think. Stick your comments sec uh, in the section down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, loads of content all season, and um, smash the hell out of the like button. You know, I, you know I appreciate every one of you that does that. Thanks for watching, peeps. Uh, my score prediction, I'm going Arsenal 4, FC Cologne 0, easy, routine victory, Giroud first goal. Laters, peeps.